and welcome to Creating the Crafty Life's online creative classes Mother's Day special. This is a little easel box or easel card box uh, that I created for this project and I used um, it's it's a very popular uh, card and you can find lots of uh, different inspirations on this but this was my take on it. I um, used Recollections 110 pound cardstock and then I also used um, Portrait of a Lady from Graphic 45 and um, so this is what I created. So the construction is pretty simple. Um, on the front I inked everything in the Oxide Distress Ink Gathered Twigs and so I matted, I matted everything. And I just realized that that little, excuse me, that little flower piece that I thought I had enough glue in there is, didn't catch. So let's go ahead and glue that down in there. So it's nice and thick. Um, I love the Beacon 3-in-1 glue, by the way. Okay, back to it. Um, so this is the Happy... It just says Happy Mother's Day. Now this is a Mother's Day stamp from Close to My Heart. Um, and as I was going through my stamps, I realized it is the only stamp uh, that says Happy Mother's Day that I actually owned. I looked through my whole stash and this is the only one I found. I used a... a Spellbinders... Uh, die uh, and this was which one was this one this was the labels label or fancy tags 2 from spellbinders and then I just inked everything this is a another die from my stash and it is the Elatina from the classic collection and it is Oops, geez, it's this die right here, and that's the number, but it's just a fan, and I cut it with some gold car shimmer cardstock. I used some flowers from my stash. This is actually a piece of the chipboard from the Portrait of a Lady stash, and then this is an image as well from the collection, and I just fussy cut her out. She is on... I used a bunch of it, but she's on the, the front of it, so... I cut that out and then everything is matted. When I lift it up right here, there's a little bit of trim for my stash and flat back pearls and then the stopper. And the hardware on the front is one, is from the Paper Studio, so Hobby Lobby, and it is one of the three small metal handles. And I just put it on there and on the inside you can see it's just matted with more Paper. So this is what I created for the Mother's Day special. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And then right up, coming up after this, is going to be uh, the instructions and also the measurements for how I created this. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. So here we go, guys. Um, so the pieces that we're going to be using for this particular easel card... Uh, box easel card is um, the ones in front of you. Now I've already pre-scored and pre-cut most everything. Um, this is the 110 pound Recollections cardstock and I like it because it's really nice and thick. So uh, you'll need several sheets, uh, three or four just kind of depending on how you cut them. Um, the other thing with this particular uh, cardstock, I like the heavier cardstock uh, because I don't have 110 pound uh, 12 by 12. So this is the 8.5 by 11. So um, a couple pieces that you're going to need. Um, this piece is actually 10 and it is scored at 5 and 6. And I thought I'd have written it down on there, but just in case, okay, 10 inches by 5 inches, and then score, oh geez, at 5 inches and 6 inches, okay. This is part of our sleeve, 
another part of our sleeve is going to be this piece right here and it is three inches by five and you're going to score at one and two inches. Then you will also need um, a, another 10 inch piece and uh, this one you're going to score at five and seven and this is going to act as the top. This is kind of the easel mechanism. So um, five inches by 10 inches. This is going to be the insert Oh my gosh, just, my brain just like froze. Don't need this one. This one is going to be six by six, and you're going to score one inch all around. And then you're also going to need um, one piece that is one inch by five. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on assembling. Now, this is the base piece, so I've scored it. But I'm also going to just grab my Teflon bone holder. We're just going to press those down. This one is already scored. I'm just going to give that a nice good press there. A nice good press there. Now, I'm going to actually use my one inch score tape and I'm going to put it on the outside. This is going to be the side piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to form a box just like that. So I don't know where my little pokey tool is right at this second, but this will do. Take the score tape off and we're just extending this piece so it is a full sleeve. So when I do this, I just want to make sure but I'm lining up this edge. Now if you have 12 by 12 paper, you definitely are able to create a piece. Oh, <laughs> just took that off. Um, you could definitely, your 12 by 12 piece, you could definitely cut a little bit. There you go. And apparently, my cut was not completely straight, which is totally okay there. So what I can do. going to lay down just like that. Sorry if my head got in the way. So this final piece measures five by five. Okay. All right. This piece is going to go on top just like this. 
And so you can use wet glue or you can use um, just regular glue. I'm actually going to use some wet glue. It just goes a little bit faster. And this is going to get covered up by pattern paper. Put those together super, super fast. I just like to line it up like so. Bottom to the bottom. One of the things you want to keep in mind with direction though is the drawer is going to be here and you want your card to open here. So you want your card to open here. just like that. Now, okay you guys, I did realize my mistake. For some reason in my head, I didn't accommodate for two sides. I was just accommodating for just one side. So we don't need a six by six piece. We actually need a seven by seven piece. And so I have that here. I've scored it on all sides. And so once again, we're just going to cut into the sides. Now, I'm going to fold and press, fold and press, and oh my goodness, the 5x5 five five gets stuck here, okay, and I'll show you guys that in just a moment. Okay, so we don't need the 6x6, six six. we do need the 5x5 five five piece, oh, my brain is just, just gone. Um, you can use uh, your sticky tape, you can use uh, any type of adhesive that you want to get these in. Um, I always find that the, oh, jeez, just bumped the camera, okay, scared the heck out of me. One false move, and that camera will come crashing down on me. Right. So then the drawer just goes inside. Just like that. Now if you find it's a little bit tight for your liking, like it's a little too snug, you can cut off just a little bit on each of the sides. Um, we're also going to put a handle on this and we're going to um, sturdy up the edges a little bit more with uh, more of the, or more, or more paper, so more layers. In. Okay. There we go. Just one second, guys. Okay. Now this piece goes right on top. Um, and what I usually like to do is I like to do all my matting before I add this piece. Once you add it though, you're going to just put the adhesive to just this side right here. Okay. And stick it down. And you want to line it up with one of the edges. I'm going to stick it down like that. And it's going to stay just like that. Now the last piece that I had, this little piece, the little one by five piece, you want to put on someplace 
uh, with a little bit of score tape. And my score tape is right over here. And one or two layers is just what you're looking for. It's kind of up to you. thick you want it. I'm completely happy with just one layer of the score tape. This is not super low profile. And then you just add this wherever. Now obviously you'd want to add some of your decorative paper all over before you put it down. a few simple steps and then you would you can add all of your decorations so that's that's it that is the assembly of the Mother's Day easel box card so I hope you guys enjoyed that and thank you so much for watching bye